in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Google Analytics to any website. This right here is kind of like a bonus lesson to my bigger playlist here that I showed you how to create a website from zero lines of code to however many with artificial intelligence. I'll make sure to leave this video in the description down below. It's over three hours long. And I show you how to use Chad GBT, Cursor AI, Replit, VS Code, anything you want to use with AI if you have no experience on how to code. And I show you how to code it. Although what I realized is that I forgot to show you in that entire course here how to connect analytics to that website you create. Therefore, let's do it. To get started here, make sure you have your project open. And if anything seems like I jumped a step or like how the heck did you get there, Corbin? That's because it was all part of the three hour video. Let me show you in this video just how to connect analytics. Let's get going. First thing, let's go to Firebase here. In your Firebase, select the project we created in that course. From here, you're going to hit that little gear icon. You're going to hit Project Settings. Scroll all the way down until you see the section that shows this. Now, obviously, mine's going to be blurred out because this is sensitive information. But what I want you to make sure you have is your API key, off domain, project ID, storage bucket, messaging, sender ID, app ID, and measurement ID. Most important one being the measurement ID. Have this tab open. We're going to use it later. If you don't see this, let me show you what you need to do to make sure you have integrated Google Analytics in your Firebase project. Same situation, gear icon, project settings, go to integrations. In integrations, you should see enabled here. If you don't, manage it, connect it, get a measurement ID. If the measurement ID is not readily available within Firebase, what you can do is that if you know it's connected, Come down to this gear icon, hit admin, hit data streams. In data streams, that's it right over here. Obviously, this is going to be whited out as well because it's sensitive information. That's your measurement ID. Copy. Let's jump back over to our project here. I believe in the course, we did this in lesson two or three where we set up Firebase. From here, though, you're going to come to Firebase.js. We already set this up. We structured this. I just need to make sure that you structured it correctly so you get your analytics. Sound good? Therefore, API key, off domain, project ID, storage bucket, messaging sender ID, app ID, measurement ID. In that order, top of that, all this data that's associated with the API key is found in our ENV file, React App API key, React App Firebase App ID, etc. Go to your EMV. This is going to be blurred out again for obvious reasons. Make sure to associate your React App API key with your Firebase.js React App API key. So it's there. Do this for all the relevant variables here. Make sure you have measurement ID, make sure you have app ID, and you're good to go. Reference back to lesson two here if you want to know how to set this up, initialize, etc. From here though, put these two lines, const app equals initialize app firebase.config, get analytics app. Got them. Once you got them, come to your app.js. This was a step that I missed in that course. I forgot just to import it. So all you need to do is this, import Firebase. Once you import it, let's go ahead and push. We're going to come to our terminal here. Obviously use your cheat sheet, go to your directory, CD web cafe, land is mine. We're going to do Firebase log out. This will log you out of the relevant Firebase account that is connected to this project here. So for me, it's going to be contact at webcafeai.com. Then we're going to do Firebase login. And as I showed you in previous tutorials here, go ahead and fill out all the relevant information here. Hit Y, proceed. We are connected. With this connected here, we're going to come back to our cheat sheet and we're going to run the two lines that you should have in your cheat sheet, which is going to be NPM run build. This is going to build out a front end or React front end and then Firebase deploy, which is going to deploy to our hosting. The reason we're building out both is because of the fact that one, we're adding that line into your app.js. We may have added more additional information in our EMV and Firebase.js. Basically, just run these two lines. <laughs> Run these two lines, and then what you'll notice is this is going to push the relevant changes to get analytics going for your website, and let's go ahead and confirm it works. What's great about analytics compared to other types of connections with third-party users is that we can instantly tell whether it works or not. So go on your Firebase project, go to real-time analytics, and I'm going to open up the website right now, and this should prove that we are currently connected, and this analytics works for our website. Loaded webcafeai.com. I'm a new user here, and it should show up in our analytics. And there we go. We have successfully connected analytics on our website and we're gonna go. As I said, this is a little bit of a bonus lesson. This was purely just to show you how to connect to analytics. If you want the full in-depth course here, that shows you how to code with AI if you have no experience or even if you do have experience, there's a new way to code. Check out that three hour video, description down below, and I'll see you in the next video. This website's free, completely free. I used to pay Webflow $18 a month. No more paying Webflow. Those are two random videos. That's my face and I'll see you in the next video.